Guys, we have to talk about this. The Halo Combat Evolved project has had a lot of skepticism, a lot of criticism, and you know what would give it a lot of validity? If some of the original Bungie developers signed on to do it, and there's no one more prolific than Marcus Leto. The man is an absolute legend, and he said yesterday on Twitter, and I quote, what if cut missions, weapons, characters, and storyline elements were reintegrated along with more contemporary core mechanics that improve gameplay while remaining faithful? to the original. And everyone's like, hang on a minute, Marcus Leto stopped working on Battlefield, and I know for a fact he has been practicing in Unreal Engine. Guys, if we get Marcus Leto working on this remake, that is going to be massive, huge. People would be so excited. I would be freaking out. Imagine the original Bungie developers could create the vision they had for the first game, free of time constraints, a better budget, everything they wanted to include in the original campaign. That would be amazing. That would be so good. And I gotta add, people did voice their concerns. One comment read, I just don't think Halo 1 needs to be retouched. Reintroducing cut content is neat, but then what? Canon changes? And Marcus reiterated, nah, it would be missions and story that were planned as part of the whole, but were cut due to time. No canon changes, just supplement to the original. And everyone's like, please work on this, please work on this. I literally tweeted out, please hire this man for the Halo Combat Evolved remake. He liked it, so I'm sure he'd love to do it. And considering he is in between on projects at the moment, 343, hire this man if you haven't already. Obviously, he wouldn't be able to say anything if he had been hired already. But if there is anyone from Microsoft or 343 watching this video, hire this man, please. Hell, you could even take it a step further. Michael Salvatore did the original music, Bungie let him go. Can you imagine if he came to work as well? I get so excited about this. Maybe it's because of my childhood. Maybe it's because I'm a huge Halo fan. But my god, that would be incredible. Now, what brought this all about was Ryan McCaffrey, the executive editor at IGN, and in typical IGN fashion, he said, and I quote, Halo Combat Evolved has already been remastered very well. And he got cooked in the comments. And we're not talking like lightly roasted over the fire. We're talking scorched earth. And I did a video about Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary only a couple months ago, literally explaining why it's not as good as the originals. The atmosphere in the flood levels is totally off. The Master Chief model just isn't good. I don't like that there's reach assets when the original identity of the game was so strong to begin with. The list goes on. Really, it does. Which is why I feel Marcus Leto, if he comes and works on the game, that would really reassure people that they're going to get a good product, at least with it in the Halo community. Now, if you aren't aware, and why this is such a big deal to me, Marcus Leto is the former Bungie art director and creative director, and to quote the wiki real quick, he is known as the father of the Master Chief. You know that Halo 3 Combat Evolve model I use? When I was covering all of Kashira's mods, he made that model. The man is a legend, and if you gave him the creative keys for this remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it, I think collectively, people would be really excited. If you have strong leadership from the top, a clear vision of what they want to achieve, that goes a very long way to creating an amazing game. Now, two really important things you guys need to know. One, why I think the game is going to come out in 2026, and thanks to you guys, 343 or Microsoft in general actually sent out surveys asking about the Master Chief Collection and the classic Halo games. Now, first of all, the release date being in 2026 makes perfect sense because it would be the 25 year anniversary of Halo. Halo Combat Evolve came out in 2001, so a 2026 release date to celebrate a quarter of a century of Halo would make a lot of sense. We also have Technical Halo, who always has a lot of insider information saying 2026 target. Take that with a grain of salt, but you guys needed to know about it. Now, speaking of you guys, and I didn't get this survey, but in the comments section when I first broke this news, some people were saying that there was emails sent out asking about the Master Chief Collection, asking about the classic Halo games, and asking players what they like. There was even previous surveys all the way back when I mentioned a final MCC update saying there's so many things that need to be fixed. Can 343 please fix them? People were saying, Remy, Microsoft is doing surveys asking about the classic Halo games. And we always thought it was for a final MCC update. It is very possible that it was actually for the Halo Combat Evolved remake. So there you have it. 
ex-Bungie developer Marcus Leto was weighing in his opinions on the upcoming Halo Combat Evolved remake. He only just recently left Battlefield. He has been dipping his toes into the Unreal Engine. In recent history, he has made beautiful models of the Master Chief. 343, you would be doing the franchise a disservice if you didn't at least have a conversation with him and consider bringing him on board. His expertise, his knowledge of the franchise would be such a massive win for the game and for the fandom in general. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Back to regularly scheduled content tomorrow. I'm cooking up a Halo Reach video, a Halo 5 video, lots of fun gameplay stuff, but this was so important, I had to cover it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.